One of the most iconic cathedrals in the world burned yesterday, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Nearly 30 years ago, parishioners in one Northumberland County community watched as their house of worship came down in a similar manner. And we opened the video vault to when Newswatch 16 was in Mount Carmel the day flames tore through St. Peter and Paul Ukrainian Church in 1991. Flames ripped through the wood and shingle roof of Mount Carmel St. Peter and Paul Ukrainian Church, sending smoke hundreds of feet into the air. The blaze could be seen from miles around as it raged for more than an hour. On the ground, hundreds of people watched in horror as the building's ornate architecture, recently restored, came crashing to the ground. I never in my life saw so many flames. But just the whole thing was just a big fire. That's all I can say. By that, the firemen came and told us all to get what we wanted out of our houses and to go down the street because they did not know where the domes were going to fall. They did fall, three domes and the steeple, landing on the twin house next door, starting another fire. Neighbors were especially frustrated through all this because it was a half hour before firefighters hit the buildings with water. They lost pressure from the hydrants across the street and had to truck water in and run hoses from three blocks away. There was no pressure at all. Three fire trucks and no pressure, no water was going up on the dome. If they had had pressure, maybe they would have caught the fire in time to maybe this damage wouldn't have been up like this. Something if it does go, it happens. Like I said, we could overrode it and did it ourselves. Too much pressure. Uh, it happens, like I said, you know. Bad timing, but it does happen. Fire officials say they'll be looking into the water situation, but they say even if they hadn't lost pressure, it would have been too late. As for a cause here, authorities are looking into reports of an electrical problem earlier in the day. Also reports that workers were using a blowtorch on the steeple above. Of course, officials expect to know more once the state fire marshal gets the chance to look through what's left here. Jeff Scott, Newswatch 16, Mount Carmel. And just four years after that fire, the church was rebuilt on Easter Sunday, 1995. The parishioners of Saints Peter and Paul dedicated their new place of worship. The community raised more than $100,000 to rebuild the church, and they have been celebrating Mass here ever since.